Hi everyone! <laughs> it's Rita and her crazy little dogs here for Miss Rita to the rescue. I hope you are well. It's been a couple of days since I posted. I apologize, but I've been working at establishing a new studio in my basement as well as maintaining this one here on the porch because I got a lot of feedback saying that they liked the porch videos, but I do have some issues with lighting. So um, I'm going to be using both areas to present to you these videos. Um, so I'm not going anywhere. I just wanted to let you know that. Today we're going to be going over this. It's a bucket bag. Kind of looks like a pail or a bucket. It's an irregular shaped um, item. It's really just such a, a really interesting piece and it only looks sort of difficult. So we're going to be going through it. But before we do, I wanted to ask you a favor. If you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel or you don't follow me on Facebook, I would ask that you do please subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Um, I'm trying to reach a goal with with my audience and um, I, I, in addition to posting these videos, I do offer a monthly giveaway. There's a giveaway going on now. I'm gonna drop the link Link in the description um, of this video so just kind of click on that little down button if you're on YouTube and you'll see there's a link where you can enter your name uh, for a giveaway and I do these giveaways every month courtesy of our friends over at Cricut and very thankful for the opportunity that they have given me to um, improve my audience and get people interested in Cricut, Cricut machines, accessories, and materials. So thank you. If you could do that, I would so appreciate it. So let's move on to this bucket bag. This bucket bag is a project from um, our friend Mary over at SVG Cuts, and it's from one of my favorite kits, which is this Harvest Sunset. And if you remember, we've done almost every single project here, including the sunflowers and um, the oversized pumpkins are in here, as well as the, the diorama. Well, we're gonna be doing this one on the front today. It's a bucket bag. Now this one is shown um, with a sunflower, so it's easy to go and grab one of those sunflowers and you can attach it to the finished product. Um, it's not it's not a difficult project to put together. It only looks sort of difficult. And one of the things that I wanted to mention is that it's not symmetrical, like it's not straight. So it, I think it's because of the shape, you know? Um, and just wanna show you the back too, it's kinda of cute. I think it looks sort of like something that you could hang on your front door and maybe with a couple of, or maybe, you know, in a safe place, you don't want to put it on the outside where you might get weather, but um, something where you could put like some, some flowers in there or perhaps on your, you know, I don't know, on your sofa table or something to sort of greet people. The, the crowning jewel in this project is this middle piece. And I'm gonna show you um, how I come about that and, and how I put this together. So stay with me and we'll be right back. Okay, so today we're putting together this. It's a uh, bucket bag made out of paper. It's from SVG Cuts, Mary at SVG Cuts. And I uh, just wanna give you a look around. It's got this really nice back to it and it's got a curved side as well as this, it's sort of like the crowning jewel of the, of the bucket. It looks like it's in a frame and it's sort of framed off with these papers. So um, I wanna start off with talking about this this paper. Um, this little piece came from a pack, of, a paper pack, and oftentimes we we buy or we go to Michael's or Joann's or something, and we buy these um, paper pads, you see? This one here, I think I've shown you before, it's called Spice Pumpkin. And what you'll find in here, usually, it's usually like 48 um, pages, 48 sheets, and they give you two 
Let me just show you. They give you two of each of the pages, you see, and that's usually enough to put together a project. But what you do is you um, kind of can run across a lot of these uh, other pieces. This one here is is so that it can be cut into strips. This is good for like when you're making a scrapbooking page. And then other things are, I suppose they're suitable for framing because they're so big like this. Well, what I what would happen is um, I would like overlook some of these pa <laughs> these papers because, and I felt like I kind of was getting gypped because maybe up to 10 of those papers were um, not really usable in projects. But then I sort of um, started thinking, okay, well, maybe I make those things the sort of focal point in a project. Like, for instance, this here, Happy Harvest or Oh So Thankful, it's pumpkin spice season. And I, I started thinking, well, maybe I could make it as part of like a focal point. And that's exactly what I did here. So... Um, Basically, I just went through my papers and, and found some things. Now, these ones here, I'm gonna put this aside. These ones here are smaller. They're more like uh, index cards. And for me, I think, you know, you could do it with both of these. Like for instance, like look at this. This is Happy Autumn or Thankful for You. Cut that. And this one is just a gourd. Um, but the, what's the cool about them is that they match the paper that you're using from your machine. Uh, I'm sorry, for, for, your, for the rest of your project. So, um, you know, so that you have consistency. Um, and uh, that way you can, and you can also use all the paper. So that's exactly what I've done here. And in this case, I just want to point out, so I put together most of this already. It's basically a bag. It's got kind of like four sides and it goes together really simply. Um, the thing that you are going to make your focal point, which is this middle piece, is like a frame. So whatever you happen to choose, whether it's as big as, as that or maybe a little bit smaller like that, you just have to center it on the frame. That's the frame. The frame is the middle piece and then things work out from there. So it goes, there are these sides. Let me make sure this is getting in the, in the video. So there are these, these shorter sides here that get decorated with a piece of, uh, with, with a nice piece of, uh, of the paper from that pad. Then there are these sides that have the holes in them, and this is the back. And so um, I would recommend that you decorate the majority of this, like I have done here. And then you go ahead and close up the bag. I wanna make sure that I'm in the camera. So there's a tab here, and I'm going to put a line of glue and adhere it so that I now have basically four-sided box if you want to call it a box it's a bag without a without a bottom okay and I just want to make sure that that glue dries and kind of holds together and again you know you're going to be more careful than I am doing with this video because I don't want to take up too much of your time so, um, but so once you have the, the bag all sort of assembled, there's the back sides and the front, you're going to put the bottom on here. But before you do that, um, the way that this is shaped is it's kind of curved here on the side. That's what gives it that sort of asymmetrical sort of bucket looks less look. Um, so you're going to want to sort of uh, bend here and, and this, I suppose this is a, this is something of a of a item to debate. Should you put the sides on before you put together the the whole thing? I think you could put everything together. Maybe not put these put these um, panels on because it might make the bending a little bit hard. But once you do get everything together, you're going to push in all the tabs on 
on the bottom of the bag, you see? And the way that this, this project is um, put together is this is your bottom. Actually, you get two pieces and one is slightly smaller, ever so slightly, really might not even be discernible how slightly. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to make one the interior piece and the other one the exterior piece. So you're basically making that sandwich where you're going to put this piece here, cover all of the tabs, and then once that is connected, I don't think I'm gonna to have to show you all of all of that, but once it's that that piece is connected, you see like that. And connect the whole thing, you're gonna turn it this side and the inside and lay your liner piece in there. You see? So it gives a really finished look both on the inside and on the outside you don't see any tabs there do you really kind of cool right and then to finish it off let's put this aside to finish it off i used raffia you don't have to use raffia you could use whatever you can use uh maybe some like galvanized wire or something or something that is uh twiny or hemp uh, anything that you'd like. The, actually, you know what? This is hemp. This is hemp. Uh, I'm looking at it. It's hemp. But you could also use raffia, you see? And I have raffia right here. Uh, personally, I'm not a big, huge fan of raffia. raffia. I think it's it's really um, annoying. <laughs> so this, in this case, I used um, hemp, and I just tied both sides of of the bag and you can make it as long or as short as you want and again i think this would look really fabulous against a wall whether it's like an interior door or maybe you have like a like a closet in your living room that you could hang it from and give it enough like space and if you wanted to put either a sunflower a paper sunflower on there or maybe put a few things like a, those um silk flowers on the inside you can you can do that all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna finish up here because i got two dogs that are playing bitey face in the background and it's kind of distracting me so you get the gist this is a a wonderful sort of <clears throat> different the way that it sits it's not straight um project for you to try from uh from mary and use those papers that you get and you've never been able to use otherwise so that was the um paper bucket bag from svg cuts and it is a a project from mary at svg cuts you can find it at svgcuts.com um, and the name of the kit that it comes from is harvest sunset i love this kit so this is definitely one if you're into fall that you might really want to consider grabbing from mary Let's see, so we went over how to deal with the extra pages um, that you find in a paper pad. Don't despair when you come across paper that um, perhaps it doesn't appear to be useful to you in your paper crafting, stuff like this that are you know normally used for pages. Uh, I'm trying to find this other, yeah, here we go. And then these little index cards right because we can use these things for projects and we can incorporate all of the pieces that come in a great um paper stack uh in in our projects just like we did today
Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Rita, and this is my YouTube channel, Miss Rita to the Rescue. I also have a blog, and that is at MissRitaToTheRescue.com. I'm on Facebook, and I have Facebook groups, and I'm trying to think Instagram, Twitter, you name it, I got it. And I'd love it if you could follow me. We're doing all kinds of wonderful projects from now until the end of the year. We're doing all kinds for the holidays and for the seasons and occasionally we see our little friend this is Benjamin so occasionally we get to see look over here Benjamin no he's not exactly a camera kid but um so thanks so much for coming today I hope you follow me and I and I look forward to presenting have a wonderful day